Hey everybody, welcome to day three of ISF 2014. It's the final day for the Hearthstone tournament where we have the semifinals and the grand finals determine who's going to be taking part of that 10,000 prize pool. I'm Frode and today I'm joined by Artosis who's here to close out the games with me. That's right, we have four matches for you. That uh, round of four matches is going to be best of five. Then we're going to do a third place match and the finals of course. That's right. Uh, some exciting stuff. We've had a lot of upsets so far. No super known players left in this tournament. That's right. We've uh, with a, with a player list like RDU, you know, Vompy, Ignite, some of the guys that you've seen a lot in the tournament scene over the past year. None of these guys uh, come to that kind of reputation. Yeah. They're, they're very far off. There, no one really knows them. They come from. Some of them are from obscure countries. I didn't even expect a player from Tunisia to be here in the semifinals, uh, let alone be able to get all the way here and be threatening to take part of the money. Well, you know what? Lissette is actually a very strong player, too. Uh, we saw him with some fantastic games yesterday, and mm -hmm. uh, I would say even he might be favored here against Sungjae, our Korean player. You know, I've, I've gotten to cast quite a few Korean players. I haven't actually seen this guy before, uh, but he <laughs> definitely made a few misclicks yesterday. Well, which hopefully was he doesn't do it today. He looks, <laughs> he looks a little tired, Dan. I, yeah. I'm not sure if he's in the zone quite yet. Either that or he's lulling his opponent into a false sense of security. Well, he did play Priest, so that could be the case. Uh, we've seen <laughs> Resident Sleeper. We've seen yeah. a lot of people fall down to like one health with Priest That's already true. this week and, and just come right back to win. So. Yeah. Well, the, the nice thing about this competition over the course of days is yesterday nothing really can count for today, right? Even though you messed up, you were nervous, uh, there was moments where Sungjae wanted to concede even though he ended up winning that game. You need to persevere through. Let's jump straight into game number one for this best of five. We're going to start things off with Druid versus Priest. Now Sungjae, he banned Priest in his previous series, which is unusual, but yeah. this series he banned Warrior against Lasset. Yeah, well Lasset did go 3-0 with Warrior, so I guess he looked at it and said, oh, he's really good with Warrior. I'm just going to go ahead and ban that and okay. see how he plays the other decks. Sure. It's more of a target ban than a general strategy yeah. ban, uh, and those are two different ways you can approach series. Nothing wrong with that. Huh. Well, looking at these decks, it's going to be Druid going up against the Priest of Lasset, and uh, a, a decent opening hand here for Lissed, but you know what's kind of interesting is we have Echoing Oozes. Two of them. In this Druid deck. It's yeah. kind of like an old school, like Strife Crow Druid. Yeah, you know, that old deck uh, is really powerful because you can get lots of bursts and sticky minions, um, but I, I'm curious to see if he's still running cards like Defender of Argus because that's where the mm. deck became really powerful because all of your two and three cost minions had great synergy with that card. Yeah, I believe that I saw one when he was mulliganing. Uh, we were kind of oh, chatting, okay, so okay, I'm not 100% okay. sure, but I'm, I'm relatively sure that he has it. Well, you, you want to take care of some of these minions, right? Shady Next Ramus is appetizing, but it's only two health, and there are ways for priests to sweep out. Like, yeah, if, you, if the Pyromancer just gets two spells off, like Power Word Shield and... Well, circle or something yeah, like that. Yeah, Circle of Healing, Power circle Word Shield. Circle would be... Yeah, Circle of Healing, Power Word Shield would get it. Uh, I don't think I'd want to use a Circle right here. Okay. So, I think it's going to go ahead and live. Yeah, in fact, based on the hand, we can see, of course, it is going to live. But that could have been risky. It could have been. Uh, but, as a result, it's not for now. And the Shade Next Rams can threaten a Northshire Cleric, so I think... Well, there's two ways to go about this turn. One is to draw a card and cycle silence, essentially. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second is to, well, basically try and put as much board presence as possible. And I think the latter is always good against Druid. Well, time to use that Wrath. So uh, it looks like you will get some value off this Shavnox Ramos, even though we see the, the mana not really being sure. filled out so far in this early game. And Priest needs to draw these cards. Uh, it, it's really valuable to them early on to get to align the right answers so that they can always hit the drop but also have the perfect removal spells mm. lined up too. So this is a pretty rough start for our Tunisian player. Yeah, uh, you know, when we look at the fact that he actually didn't play anything on turn four, that's pretty weak as well. So he's playing around Holy Nova. Mm. Echoing Ooze, by the way. So so we saw people cycle this card out. Yeah. Why do you think it's not as strong as it was it before? Just the thing is, it dies to all the AOE stuff. Like, it's the death rat. Like, I like the spider better, even though this guy has really good stats instantly 
and can be very challenging on the board. Like, you draw this guy late, he's pretty terrible. Yeah. No, I, I feel you. Um, and in the end, uh, the, the impact that it has compared to Haunted Creeper is actually a lot smaller because yeah. of uh, Haunted Creeper has so much versatility with uh, against AoE and even for buffs. But you know what? Interesting enough, I said had nothing on turn four and five. That's nine mana that's, he's passed right back to his opponent. That's so painful. But this is sometimes a problem with Priest. This definitely can happen. Uh, luckily, he does have a more powerful turn six here, stealing mm -hmm. one of those Echoing Oozes and getting a four five out. Well, uh, swipe falling right into the hand. Is that, is that an immediate play here? At six mana, yeah, I think it's it's pretty solid. Like just erase this board. He's had such weak turns so far. You're just you're keeping your board alive. So yeah, I mean, uh, it's proven that Priest has a pretty reactive hand. I think, based off uh, what you saw. Mm -hmm. I mean, you played Sludge Belcher too, and your opponent responded with um, just another minion. Yeah. So it doesn't seem like he has the optimal removal lined up. No, certainly not. And we see that in fact he does not. So. I like it so far uh, for for Sungjae. Are we saving Sylvanas for a much bigger board to challenge Druid at all? Yeah, I think so. Like, uh, what does Sylvanas really do right here? Like, it, so often we see Sylvanas, you know, someone plays Sylvanas, and then you play Sludge Belcher because you're like, okay, this slows Sylvanas down until right, I yeah. can figure out what to do about her. So I think playing Sylvanas here would be, like, an extremely weak play or a weak usage of her. Sure. Obviously strong on this board, though. Ah, uh, Sludge Belcher. Well, it stalls what your opponent's trying to do, but your follow-up to it is still really weak. I'm a bit surprised he didn't power shield that. Yeah. I mean, I think you you care. It's not about the health on the minion. I think you need to get yeah your cards, your hand. Yeah, just to cycle stakes. it through. I think is yeah. probably a, a strong play. It's you don't have anything great lined up for the next turn either, so you need to get through your deck a bit better, but. Uh, maximizes his mana, heals up a bit, and with this Black Knight in hand, we can tell that Powered Shield, all it would have done is draw a card. Yeah, I, uh, Ancient of Lore is the right mana cost this turn, but mm. there are very few targets better than Sludge Belcher against the Priest, not to mention it's still a 4 attack minion. Yeah, quite the case. Well, Ugh. this is like so weak, man. <laughs> Is this the board you play Sylvanas onto? Yeah, well, Sylvanas has a much easier time getting things around, so I think she's a better option. Plus, yeah. you're not. Are you going to die to a combo, by the way? Well, he doesn't have it quite yet, and uh, uh. I guess, yeah, he would have. <laughs> but Man, that's crazy. We'll see if he actually gets a draw into it here. Oh, double force, and oh, there is the defender. Okay, so he is playing an older version of uh, this fast druid in mm. a sense. All right, so Holy Nova, does that open up some really cool possibilities here with Sylvanas? Uh, I'm looking for it. It doesn't seem like Holy he Nova do does not seem like a fantastic play this turn, unfortunately. Yeah. But you can start removing things, I suppose. Yeah. But then Sylvanas becomes a little bit weaker, too, in, in terms of what she can steal. But I think you care more about the pressure, because, again, your opponent's going to have nine mana next turn. Yeah. You have to be careful what kind of damage that Drew can put out. Look, I, I'm i looking at this, and I think Shadowward Pain is probably a card you're going to want to use this turn. You cannot be taking all this damage. A combo will just kill you yeah. very, very soon. So I think your priority is to remove some of these minions now. Well, uh... I mean, using Shadow or Death and trying to remove, either by killing off the lore or... Uh, yeah, I think trying to go for Zavano Steel is just too random. So I think it's in yeah. this scenario, you're okay keeping her. Yeah, yeah. And I, I like what he's done here, too. He makes it so it's a little bit more difficult to trade this Black Knight in. Oh! oh. Well, it doesn't even matter anymore because no. Sungjae picks up the combo right off the top, and that's going to end game number one. Indeed it will. Well played there by Sung Jae. Kind of a hard start by Lisset, unfortunately. Yeah. He just having no nothing to do whatsoever on turns four and five. That is just not a winning Hearthstone game. Well, Sung Jae is pretty happy about it. It seems to be like he's like a more emotional player. Yeah. For sure. Like he's he just rides the tides of how his games are going. And I think that's really important that he gets off to a good lead just because 
Druid has these type of starts where they just, you know, fall into a win in a sense. It's, yeah. it's not like they didn't do anything spectacular. It's just that Priest had a very weak game, and Priest has the combo.